Dear faithful communicators, all communication is risky. All of it. If you're going to communicate, you're going to get into risky situations. I guarantee it. By risk, I mean there may be some damage, intended or not. There might be some loss. There might be some injury. Communication is a risky business. And it's risky, first of all, because communication makes us vulnerable. It makes us vulnerable. We might be the ones suffering the damage, the loss, the injury, whether it's emotional or even physical. We are vulnerable. We put ourselves out there when we communicate. And as soon as we do that, we're taking a risk. All communication is risky. If we're going to communicate, we have to recognize up front that we're going to be in risky situations. There is grace, but unfortunately for some of us, we cheapen it. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the great German theologian and pastor who actually gave his life trying to bring down Hitler, Bonhoeffer said there is such a thing as cheap grace where we don't realize that what God has done on our behalf through Christ, the sacrifice of his own son, we don't realize the price involved there. For us, it's just a snap. Grace. Ah, I believe in Christ. That's it. Now I'm going to communicate. We don't want to make ourselves vulnerable. We don't want to risk. Cheap grace moves us away from risk to safety. And when we think too much in terms of safety rather than risk, our communication is impoverished. We will not flourish, and people around us will probably not flourish as much because our relationships will be weak, insufficient for growth. In Scripture, we have wise and foolish people. The fool runs ahead, cheap grace in hand, taking risks as if the risks don't matter. The wise person says, there are going to be some risks here. There are going to be some costs. But I'm not going to take them lightly. I'm going to accept responsibility, just as others should. I'm going to do the best I can. The kind of risky communication that we shouldn't get involved in is rash. It's quick. It's cheap. It's also impetuous. It has a kind of boldness to it. Ah, I know what to say. I know what to write. I know what to do. I know who to listen to. It's impetuous. Instead, we're called to self-control, to take risks, but to do so wisely with self-control. And real self-control in our communication should be based on experience. Experience. But we all lack certain experience. How do we communicate in these situations, often in new situations that we've never had before? What do we do when we lack experience? We surround ourselves with people who have more experience, people who have tried communicating already in similar situations, people who have taken the risks and learned from those risks. And we learn from their experience the right kind of self-control. So we could say taking risks wisely in our communication requires us to be involved in Christian community because it's in Christian community that we learn from one another based on each other's experience how to take the risks but to take them wisely based on real experience. Shalom.